So, my afternoon just changed massively. When I was in Melbourne, for those of you who follow me, um, two weeks ago I was in Melbourne, maybe two or three, uh, me and Ned and Ellie, who were friends I was there visiting, went and saw a band called uh, The Velvet Club. Anyway, they're actually playing tonight in Adelaide at the Exeter Hotel, which I knew. But anyway, they text me like, hey man, can we ask you like the biggest favour ever? Like, feel free to say no, whatever, but just in case you know someone, we've just broken down about an hour and a half out of Adelaide. Um, something flicked up and went through the fuel tank on their newly purchased van for this um, their tour they're doing, like a Mercedes, um, I don't know, whatever the vans are called. Um, we just need to leave it somewhere because we've got all our amps and all our equipment in it. It's bloody expensive, like thousands of dollars worth. Do you have any way we could leave it? And I'm like, boys, come round. <laughs> this is like, rang them back. And I'm like, beers are in the fridge. Fucking good to go. Um, so this, and, and the poor lads, it's 40 something degrees here. And out that way, which is out inland a lot, it's probably more like 50 degrees. So the poor lads have been broken down the side of the road. They're about maybe 45 minutes off um, being at my place. Um, and I've got a dinner on and some drinks on tonight, but then 100% I'm gonna go to the Exeter Hotel and watch them. I've only met these guys the once at the pub um, playing, but then um, we better go. I'm so happy to help these guys out. Um, and I love coming together of shit like this. I'm Matt Willie Williams. I partied my way through high school. I joined the army straight out of school as a rifleman. I deployed to Afghanistan for eight and a half months as a crew commander at 20 and turned 21 over there. I've traveled the world twice, jumped from planes, dove under the sea, drank from shoes in over 20 countries, and I regret nothing. Returning home in a regular doctor's checkup, I was diagnosed with an incurable, inoperable brain tumor on my 22nd birthday. Since then, I've made it my mission to enjoy my life as much as I can and show that terminal illness doesn't mean your life can't be successful, meaningful, and fucking awesome, whilst putting in as much effort as I can to raising money for brain cancer research. 12 months of chemo done, 60,000 plus donated to research, and I'm fucking happier than ever. This is my story of refining my health and redefining terminal illness and smiling through it all. We've got chips, I'll find some time. We've only got Coopers, but. It's a bit of a leaky boy. So Lily and I have made it. There's Lily. Hello. She just spotted a possum and looking for it into the city of Adelaide for the gig, which is up. I'm not even sure you can see up in the city here at the exit. So the boys play at 11. So we're gonna go maybe for a beer with them first. Yeah. Maybe a beer. We're trying not to drink. Maybe. And then um, watch them play. Emma even met who they are. I had a, a friend come around to pick up my next yeah. at my house. She's like, yeah, yeah, just go grab it. And she's like, yeah, I met the Velvet Club. They were just hanging at your house. Like, what the fuck? Um, so it's good. So maybe there'll be some footage, maybe not. Of <laughs> so we've made it home from the violin. Uh, what's it called? Velvet Club. I was gonna say like the violent architect. That's uh, Mark's name on <laughs> Twitch. Um, and it was awesome, but we're home so late. This is way later than normal. <laughs> normal for us, and we're trying to stay sober this year, so yeah. doing well. Whew. So we're in the mix of setting up all the beds. The band's coming home for us. One bed. And there we go, oh, the couch is all gone hit the wall. And we've got a bed on the other side of the house. The band is, <laughs> I don't want to leave their band and all this stuff, or well, their van and all this stuff with in us. the city, so they're bunking in with us. Woohoo! That's pretty good. There it is. Always working hard. <laughs> You're going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
what an adventure. We got the boys on their way to Muldura. <laughs> Just then, uh, it's all patched up. They let the, the cure time or whatever they need for the, the glue fiberglass stuff. And now they're on four and a half hours four to Muldura. It at least started first time. It hasn't leaked in a couple of hours. And after that, they're to uh, Brisbane. Brisbane. So another 6,000 Ks. <laughs> yes, Long the Velvet Club. Journey. <laughs>